Good morning. This is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. Hi, Panda Girlfriend. And we're on day two of the hoop. Okay, so yesterday I finished doing all of the mowing and, and trimming is the easiest way to say that. So all the grass, etc., is about, I don't know, three feet off the roadway in most places. I say most places because I end up with things like this. This is a sapling pine tree that is in that three foot zone. Um, same thing there, I have several saplings here. Um, this happens to be right in front of the shed. Um, and what it does is it make my, you want to drive here all the time and not over here where it's solid because you don't want your car to brush up against the saplings. Um, so the goal is today on the loop is to go ahead and walk the entire loop and all the places where the saplings are too thick to be taken down with the trimmer, they come down either with the pole saw or my pruning shears but everything gets cleared back to that three foot level. Does that make sense? Um, when I go down the driveway, the long portion of the driveway, it'll probably be wider than that. But for right here, does that make sense? I need to claim, you know, where's my finger? There it is. I need to claim that portion of my road back. I don't need this stuff to grow so tall that it's leaning all the way out here. So that's where we're gonna start. It's kind of right here in front of the shed. And I'll be back, you know, as I work my way around. All right, see you in a few. All righty, there we go. Now, again, this is the area in front of the shed, um, and I'm three foot up the bank. Everything's pruned back, everything's trimmed back, all the saplings are cut down. Got a little pile of, you know, leaves and debris sitting over there that's just completely out of the way. Um, yeah. Again, the stuff that's up on the actual slope of it, you know, up there where I say the stump is, I don't know if you can see it. There he is. Um, I'm not worried about that stuff. Truly, I'm not. You know, if that if that tree right there, Sunner, decides to become a tree, that's fine. He just holds this corner of the slope back. Um, I just can't have him on the on the actual bank because then they want to fall and lean into the roadway, and then you know I'm driving up against the sheds, and I don't want to drive up against the shed or the workshop. You know, yeah, I like to be able to drive on the the backside of the ravine there, you know, where I'm not on the slope, but I'm on that grass, so this here can fill in, push that dirt back down type thing. You know, little stuff. All right, before I go around the corner and up the hill, um, I'm going to go get me another bottle of water, and I'm going to bring a little bowl out here for Panda. She's been drinking out of my hand because she loves, you know, chasing the rake. That is like the best game ever. We've got this nice flat grassy spot, and We've taken a break twice, and she has chased the rake. I mean, just, Mom, I'm tired. So I'm out of water because I've given her half mine. So we're going to take a break, go get two waters and a little bowl, and then, you know, see if we can make it up to the, the top of the hill. So I'd love to get to, see if I can zoom in on it now. You see where that tree is right there? That's the tree that's at the... The, the stop where you either go to the right and go down the loop or start going down the loop or you go up to the upper end of my property. I'd like to make it to that tree because the road to the upper end of the property, I've already done that. You know, I've already done all the, all the hillsides and all the slopes. So that's the goal. Let's get there and then I can reevaluate if I'm actually going to be able to finish the loop today or not. So having said that, let me go get some water and I'll talk to you in a few. Alrighty, next up, um, this is the start of the curve. See my workshops down there, sheds over there. Um, so I'm not taking the pine down, you know, and I'm not taking down the the thorny th the thorny tree. I'm not sure what its name is. I just know it's got crazy, insane thorns. Um, but the goal is to you can see the scrub around the pine tree. And if you come over here close to the the thorny tree, you can see where I got scrub hanging off into the roadway so and that becomes the goal is keep the roadway clear you know it should be on the but the left side of the tree not the right side and it's the same thing on that one everything should be on the other side of the tree not on this side i mean most of it's just you know the two and a half years that i've been here i have not removed saplings um, part of that's learning the property you know knowing what it does and where the water flows and what that what the ground does and you know all right, saplings got to go. They're kind of 
they're closing in my road here and I don't like that. A um, little bit of scrub there to remove, a little scrub around that tree to move. Um, you know, a little scrub around that tree to move, just, just a little. You know, most of them have done really well and not gotten crazy scrubby. Um, yeah, this area should go much faster than the lower one. Um, I say that because of the grass that's here. That makes sense. I've already gone with the trimmer and it's already taken it all back. You know, now it's just getting rid, getting rid of the scrub. All right, let me get busy. Talk to you in a few. Do you see him? How about now? Little brown tree frog hanging out. He's like, what you cutting down? Anyway. Whew. So, you can see where my loppers are sitting up against that tree. You know, my little branch cutter thingies. Um, and yeah, that's there. That's a, up there's the next. You can see both those trees are are open and clear there's no scrub around them um, come down here this pine tree there's no scrub around it um, my thorn tree there's no scrub around it and if you wonder why I call it my thorn tree I'm sure it's got a proper name that's a thorn branch you can see right there is where I cut it off and those aren't branches those are thorns you know, it's like a goat head on steroids, for those of you who know what a goat head is. Can you imagine stepping on this? You know, this I'm sure I'm going to die one day stepping on one of these, because it's just going to go through my foot. It's craziness. Anyway, the other half of this amazing tree, and it's not amazing, it kills me, um, is I keep this side of it clean. That way, for some reason, if i got to do something with the tractor or the Jeep, and i got to stop right here, I don't have thorns like that sticking out or thorns like that Let's see if I can zoom in there you go low enough to poke me in my face because that would just not be pleasant to have you know my eyeball skewered um, and then long term I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this tree I did not realize that it's got a crack it's split you know I'm sure the uh, where's my finger? There's my finger. I'm sure the, uh, I'm sure it goes all the way down to here. Just the bark is still clinging to it, so you can't see it. And then it goes at least up to there. You know, it's a good three foot, maybe more split. So sooner or later, this tree's coming down, which is fine by me. I don't have a problem if this tree comes down. You know, my hope. Now well, we're going to back up just a little so you can see the lean. Zoom out, there you go. Is that it falls off the road, not on the road. It will definitely hit those two trees. Um, and it's got a fork up top there, which will probably go around the two trees. And from there, it just depends on which way those two trees are going to let it fall. They're either going to push it this way onto the road, which is going to suck, or it collapse off the road, which is what I'm hoping for when it collapses. Um, there's a better look at the two trees. Now see, it looks like it'll collapse on its own off the road. But I think the two trees might make it change its mind. I just don't know. Um, one day we'll find out. I'll come out after a rainstorm. It'll be, it'll be gone. Or it'll be down. Whew, all right. Having said that, time to go up the hill. Do you know? Park it up there at the, after the my two pines. And um, get busy again. So I'll talk to you in a few. Alrighty, it's a quarter to one. And that was the top two pine trees in the last video. Again, all clean. Um, cleaned up the left side over here. Right there. Um, it's where my water runs down. Off the road, into the ravine that leads to the Garden 3. Um, you can see the same ravine is back up in here, but I don't need to clean it. It's, it's a ravine enough on its own. But I did clean around this oak. Um, left and right side, you can see there's a stump there. You know, again, just the saplings. Keep it clear. Keep my hillside clear. All the way up to 
that oak and that oak, which is where the, how do I say it, the, the upper portion of the loop, and that's where I refer to this as, is the upper portion of the loop. Um, to the left goes back to the lower portion of the loop, and to the right goes to the um, um, edge of my property, um, which was, you know, already cleaned and cleared. That's why all that scrub is sitting over there. Um, you know, cut branches and pieces because I already cleaned up this side. There's enough room to drive two vehicles through here and not touch anything. Um, you know, I have a Jeep. It's not an issue. Um, so, what's left? Today, nothing. I have leftovers for lunch. Take a shower. Do some laundry. Um, but what that means is Tuesday, if I'm not doing anything else, um, I'll start up here Tuesday morning, literally at this spot. Um, this is the tree at the far side of the road. Um, it's my little tree triad between what's left and what's right. So you can see it there. I'm going to turn around and those are the two where I take my turn to take the upper end of the loop. Does that make sense? So this is the tree triad and the, uh, there's a big X on here. And, um, I don't know, somebody was saying, or I read somewhere that has to do with, uh, uh, marking this as right away. Again, there's a hunting cabin way back there, past my property. The guy who owns it, his family actually lives on the other side of the mountain. Does that make sense? So their hunting cabin is on the far side of their property closest to mine. Um, so, being that this is supposed to be a marker tree, um, because they do have right away to come this way. Um, I can't take it down, which is fine. I'm not going to take it down. It's a, it's a pretty tree, you know, but the scrub around it here, that's going to go. Again, already did that side, did that side when I was coming down. So this is where I'll start, you know, clean up scrub, kind of both sides of the road. The light area that you see down there is where the power lines run up, you know, part of my scar. It's all right. Um, looking much better. Yeah, uh, and you can tell, you can tell where like this one's got this, it's not straight up, it's growing over, it's got this crazy lean that takes it into and over the road. Um, so you know, we get a heavy snowfall like Snowmageddon last year, or we get a nice storm. Um, I don't need it laying on the road. So it's coming down, the cedar that's trying to grow there is coming down, the ash tree that's trying to grow there is coming down, they're just, they're all coming down. Life is awesome that way. All right, anyway, I'm not going to bore you with it. We'll see it as it happens. Uh, Miss Panda and I are going to go put tools away and call it a day. So, y'all have a good one.